What's going on, Nation people of YouTube? TJ here again with a new review for you guys. I know it's been quite some time since I reviewed a new product, and today I received my new LG monitor from Best Buy, and it is just stunning. Now, model number is the 27UK600W, and again, it's an LG 4K Ultra HD monitor that of course means the resolution is 3830 by 2160. It has a 5ms response time, meaning that you're going to get pretty solid performance for precise gaming, or if you're doing some uh, video editing, things of that nature, <clears throat> you're going to be very pleased with the response time. And it is, of course, a 27-inch anti-glare display. And it's a 60 hertz refresh rate, which is pretty decent. And it also features free sync technology, as well as two HDMI's, which I'll tell you more about in a couple of minutes. Uh, I'll show you the back of it as well. Um, and it, it oh, also a display player as well, if you use that. This thing is just incredible for the money. Now, its usual retail price is almost $500. Right now, it's on sale through Best Buy, at least for at the time of this video, um, which is April 18th, 2019. Now, I don't know how long it'll be on sale, but it's currently only $350 through Best Buy. If you are in the market for a new 4K monitor, you would be doing yourself a disservice not to go check out this monitor at Best Buy, either in the store or just go to bestbuy.com. And keep in mind, guys, that video or pictures cannot do this justice. You need to see it for yourself to really see how good this display is. Now, it's easy enough to say, well, all 4K displays are going to be nice looking, but LG has just a great reputation for making high quality panels. And the fact that this is an LED IPS panel with obviously being 4K uh, alone makes it very nice quality to, to look at. But the additional thing here, guys, is that it also features HDR10, which is something that you do not see all the time in these uh, higher priced 4K monitors. But this does have it. So LG has really packed a lot of punch into this monitor for the price that you're going to pay. And even if for some reason, by the time you see this video, it's, it's not on sale, even the normal retail price is very reasonable for this package. But if you can get it on sale, that's all the better. But, so I'm going to show you a little bit about the, uh, the, the back of it. I'll show you the connections. I, I actually filmed some footage of uh, when I was assembling it. So we'll go to that now. And then we'll come back and I'll even do a little demo for you guys as well. So this LG display features two HDMI connections, both that display at 60 hertz, a display for a power connection right there, obviously, and you do get a headphone jack, but you don't want to use the headphone jack because you probably don't want to use any integrated speakers anyway, which it does not include. So this is a very nice uh, supply of connections on LG. And of course, the stand is incredibly simple to set up. You just put these two pieces together, it takes a matter of seconds. Got the screwdriver connected to here. I'm not going to try to do it on camera, but it's very simple. And it's also wall mountable if you want to do it that way as well. So LG has done a great job at uh, including enough connections. And you don't always see the two HDMIs on these 4K displays. So LG did a great job of that as well. And overall, it is going to be a great option if you are looking to pick up a new monitor for your setup. This is going to be fantastic. Um, and of course, we'll get into the display even further as well. As I said a few seconds ago, the stand is very simple to assemble, um, which I think people are important to know because as somebody with a condition that affects my hand coordination, something like this is well appreciated and it's very simple. You just hold it down and screw it in. They give you an easy uh, turn screw. You just use your fingers and just screw it in and it's very simple. 
and it, then in a matter of seconds it's done. Now that's the first step. You do have to use a tool, a screwdriver, just for the um, attaching this piece to the that piece there. But even that will not be difficult. So I give LG a lot of credit for keeping it simple. There's really not that much to do. Um, which I realize a lot of these stands now are not that difficult. Some more so than others, but this is definitely uh, a simple stand to assemble. And I just thought I'd give you guys one last look at it assembled from behind. And, you know, I'll say this. It's not the most extensive build quality. It's just a durable, hard plastic material that LG rented. But again, for the features that you're getting, including HDR10 and just a really super nice 4K UHD display, I don't think it's really that much uh, concern that they just use a, a plastic build quality as compared to more expensive material. Besides, you're not going to be looking at this from behind anyway, so does it really matter? It really doesn't. It comes with such a great quality display that that's what really matters. But it is worth noting that it's not the most extensive build quality. But I wouldn't even consider that a negative because, again, you're not looking at it from behind. And in no way is that going to affect how long this display lasts you. So as you guys can probably already tell, I'm using this LG monitor with my Xbox One X, which I previously had plugged into my 4K Vizio TV out in my living room, and don't get me wrong, it looks incredible out there too, but when you get a 4K display on a 27 inch monitor, it really just pops. It makes all the difference because obviously it's all about pixel density. So you're getting all those uh, pixels tapped into a smaller display. It just looks stunning. When I first turned it on and actually started playing a game, it, it was like, wow. And it's still uh, stunning. But I mean, it, it really just looks so good. And, you know, this really, I'm not going to get too much into this for this video, but... This kind of goes into, like, should you buy a gaming desktop that can support 4K gaming, um, or should you just get an, a One X and just use an, a 4K display? And, you know, th that could be a, a very healthy discussion about that. But for this video, I won't get into it. Perhaps in a, a further video, I will. But I can definitely tell you guys, I consolidated my gaming into just my Xbox One X. But it's, it's only fair to note that while I do consider myself a tech enthusiast, I'm not so much a PC hobbyist, which would be somebody that wants to customize their, their builds and build all these crazy PCs. That's not quite my cup of tea. I find it fascinating and cool, don't get me wrong, but I'm all about getting the best bang for my buck. And that's where this Xbox One X really shines. Okay, so enough talking. Let's actually jump into Forza Horizon 4, which is the newest version of this game. And again, as I said earlier, you really can't judge it based on a video or even pictures. You have to really play it in person. But I'll give you a quick demo. So the settings I have right now is it is set on uh, quality mode. So you're going to get slightly lower graphics fidelity or graphic fidelity, but you're going to get higher frame rates at 60 frames per second. So that's what you're watching right now. Now, if you choose to, you can also set the game to be at a higher graphical fidelity, but you will drop down to about 30 frames per second. And for me, I think it's safe to say that frame rates are a little bit more perfect than uh, graphic fidelity. So, graphical fidelity. I can't talk tonight. Sorry about that, guys. But, yeah, so, it just looks stunning. Um, and, oh, uh, please excuse the wires on my desk. I know it doesn't look neat, but, um, I just haven't gotten around to doing cable management yet. Uh, I've just been too busy having fun testing this out. And, um, yes, I am intentionally doing this, going through the landscape. This game is just so fun. I have to tell you guys, if you're into gaming at all, do yourself the pleasure of trying out a 4K display, especially if you have an Xbox One X. You won't regret it. It's so fun. 
And also, I've been using Xbox Game Pass as well, which is also, oh, what is it say? Which is also super great because for 10 bucks a month, you get access to an entire catalog of pretty decent games. Now, I won't lie to you, some of the games on Game Pass are just, eh, okay. I guess everything, everyone has different interests, but, um, I find that a lot of the games I do enjoy a lot. Um, I've been playing Sea of Thieves, obviously this game from Horizon 4. Um, I've been playing Street Fighter, which is the Xbox 360 version. So they had a pretty, pretty good selection of titles in the Game Pass, so that's worth checking out, too. So yeah, it, it's just been very fun to consolidate my gaming into this one app and now using this uh, LG 4K display as of today. Because honestly folks, it just comes down to, I would rather have a gaming experience on my desk. I am not the type of person that can sit in like a recliner or a couch and game seriously. I just can't. I, I can't focus like that. I either get tired because I'm too comfortable or something like that. So I would much rather just play games. And yes, I am just being stupid. Obviously, I'm not actually trying to play a game seriously right now. But I would rather just, you know, have this on my desk and be able to sit in my chair and and multitask as well. But you can't see right now, and I won't do an office tour for this video, but I have actually two other monitors plus my MacBook Pro uh, on my desk, along with this, whoa, along with this, um, along with this LG monitor, and of course my Xbox One X. So, I very often multitask, and so it's, it's great to have and, and consolidate, as I said. Alright, I think I'm starting to ramble now. I will end this demo here for now, and I can't stress enough, don't judge me, I was only trying to talk and gather my thoughts as I was doing the demo. But anyhow, this has been my review and little demo of the LG uh, 4K display, I forgot the model number, but I'll put it in the title, but it's, it's just a stunning display. As I said a couple times now, if you are in the market for a new one, definitely give this one a try. You won't regret it. It has fantastic reviews on Best Buy's website. Um, it's probably on Amazon as well, and I'm sure it has fantastic reviews on Amazon too. You know I haven't looked on Amazon, I'm sure it's going to be great because LG just makes great stuff in general, and this is no different. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you're enjoying my content, please hit that subscribe button below. Until next time, peace out for now.